Welcome to another episode of Rio's how-to videos. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Simon Gorsworth, and today we're going to look at how to fish a soft tackle, but a different way. If you saw season one, we did the very basic of how to swing a soft tackle. And I like a little bit more complications in fishing than that, and sometimes swinging a soft tackle isn't so effective. And particularly when you've got rising fish that don't really take dry flies, a soft tackle is very, very, very effective uh, when the fish are feeding on dry flies. And that's the situation we've got here. I'm going to run over my rig. Uh, I've got on the end of my rod, I have a single-handed spay line. That's because I do an awful lot of spay casting with it, roll casting and spay casting. I want a line that's going to turn over and roll cast easy. So that's the line I've got on here. And then there's quite an interesting setup on this whole thing. So I've got a, a supple flex leader on the end, and on the end of that, some supple flex tippet. I like the softness when I'm fishing soft tackles. It's really important that you get lots of movement, natural current movement in there. So you want the supplest nylons possible. And then um, the way it's rigged is going to be quite interesting to some of you. So what I've got here, I've, I've got my leader. I have a seven and a half foot supple flex leader down onto a perfection loop. And I've tied on what is called a slinky indicator. Slinky indicator does this. Look at that, isn't that cool? That's an indicator you make. If you haven't seen our video on how to make a slinky indicator, check it out. It's on the video called Two-Tone Tippet, which is the name of the product that this is made out of, and it shows you how to make the slinky indicator. You'll see what and why we have a slinky indicator. So I've got my supple flex leader, my seven and a half foot supple flex leader to the slinky indicator. And then from there, I've got some 4X supple flex down to a tippet ring. And then from the tippet ring, I have a dropper with a small soft tackle, and then a little bit longer arm handing down to my point fly with a larger soft tackle. All right, so that was the rig. Now I'm back out here in the current, and what I've done, I've chosen a position where I'm almost level with a fish that's rising. I'm slightly upstream of it, and I'm gonna cast above the fish with a little bit of slack, and my soft tackles are gonna sink and drift past that fish, naturally. And the reason you have a slinky indicator is very, very simple. Is when a fish grabs hold of this and tightens the line, all that happens is the slinky indicator stretches, fish feels nothing, and you see that slinky indicator straighten. That's your visual for a fish taking the fly. So the fish don't feel any tension. So usually the grabs are very positive and easy to hook because they don't spit it out so quickly. So that's why I've set it up. The fish is rising tight to the far bank. And as I said in the beginning, I'm going to do a lot of spay cast because I want to keep my flies wet. I don't want them to float. I want them to be subsurface. Just like fishing a dry fly, I want to wait till I know where that fish is. I'm going to wait for him to rise again or swirl again. I'll give him a minute or two, and then we'll cast the fly upstream of it with lots of slack. And again, I'm watching that indicator on the water. And the water, you probably can't see it from there, but the indicator is really easy to see. That slinky's indicator is really easy to see. And what will happen is when a fish grabs it, you'll just see it tighten. Didn't take it that time. That cast was a little bit short, a little bit longer. That's a good one. There he is. Don't know if you picked that up from out there, but you can see what happened. The line was drifting by, the slinky just tightened. Very easy hook set. Fish didn't feel a thing because of that indicator and I saw it all. Beautiful. And this has taken the point fly, so this has taken the slightly larger one. And because I'm in strong current here, I'm going to come ashore. And get out of the current. It's much easier to land a fish that's downstream of you when you're in strong current in a softer water. Right, beautiful cutthroat. All right, there we go. Safely in the net. Beautiful cutthroat, about 16 inches. What a great take, lovely. Just seeing that indicator straighten slightly like that. That's one of the great things about this soft tackle on a slack line. Let's put this one back. Let her go beautiful, there you go. Wow, that was so much fun. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That was a great way of fishing a soft tackle with slack line. Hopefully you enjoyed that how-to episode. If you did, stay tuned. Watch the Rio website. We've got plenty more how-to episodes. Thank you very much for watching.